This is tutorial number 11, and it covers how to dimension your sketches within Katia v5. To start off, open up a new part file. Once you have it open up, let's go to the sketch workbench. So let's click sketch, and we'll click a plane. Now what I'm going to show you in this tutorial is how to dimension the lengths and angles of your sketches. So first off, let's draw a square. And let's dimension this square to 50 by 100. So we'll click the constraint and we'll click a line and pull it up. When you pull it up, you now have the dimension to edit it. Double click on it and let's type in 100. Now let's dimension the height. So let's click constraint. Last time we just clicked the line. This time let's click two lines. So we're doing the distance in between here which is still going to be just like clicking that one line. So let's click this line, and we'll click this line and pull it out. Now again, double click on it, and we'll type in 50. Click OK. Now, if I was to put another dimension on this side for the 100, you'll notice that it will be purple. When you see purple such as this, it means that your sketch is over constrained. So, if I am to go in here and edit it, it's going to uh, disrupt everything and it can't happen. It's over constrained. It's not going to work. So whenever your sketch turns purple, it's over constrained. So you're going to have to delete a dimension. So I can either delete this one or this one to make my sketch uh, normal and not over constrained. So let's delete this one up here. And now everything turns back green. Green, good to go. Everything's fine. Nothing's over constrained. Now, let's draw a few lines. So let's click line, and we'll draw a line just like this. And you'll notice that the blue line means that it's at a 90. And when I put it on an angle, it's back to white. And when it's in line with that sketch, I'm getting that blue line. So I'm able to make it the same height as that. So let's make it the same height. And now let's do an angle, this angle from here to here. So let's click constraint and we'll click this line and we'll click this line and we get an angle. Now to change it, we'll double click on it and let's change the angle to 15 degrees. Click OK. And now we have 15. Now let's double click and we'll change it to 70. And now we have a 70 degree angle. Now, if you double click on the angle, you're also able to choose the angular sector. So it gives you different dimensions for different sectors. As you can see, as I'm scrolling through and selecting each one, I'm getting a different angle for it. Now, most of the time, it's going to give you the smallest angle, the one that you want. But sometimes it doesn't. So you may have to go through and toggle through the sectors to get the right angle. So we'll click OK. And let's delete this face here. And let's just close up the sketch. So we'll click this line. And we'll connect from that point to that point. And you'll notice whenever you connect point to point, you'll have a circle uh, filled with a dot in the middle. Now if we click from this point to this point, and say we're just on the line, you're just going to get a circle with a line through it meaning that it's coincident. If you actually have it right on the dot, you're on there and you're closing the sketch. So let's close that there. And let's click OK. And we'll exit the workbench. And now we've created our sketch there. And that concludes our tutorial on how to dimension your sketches within Katia V5.